Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see change request in SAP EMO. This morning I got a change request from my client. That is what we are going to discuss. Okay. So what is the change request? They want to create, they want us to create a scheduling agreement document type ALP with a number range 8000000101280000300. And they want us to do system testing. So what I am going to do is I'm going to create a scheduling agreement type, document type, ALP, and create an assign number range to scheduling agreement, ALP. Now I'm going to create, and then I'm going to create purchase requisition and convert purchase requisition to scheduling agreement, ZLP, ALP, sorry, ALP in ME31. Maintain scheduling dates in ME38, and then do goods result and invoice. Let's go to the system and let's do that. Go to SPR, SAP Reference IMG. This is the live system. I'm just showing you in the live system. Go to Material Management, Purchasing, Scheduling Agreement, Scheduling Agreement. First, let me create a number range. Intervals, Add Interval. Okay, X1. Okay, number range X1. Let me see the number range. Number range is 101, 101 to 300. 101 to 300. 300. When I select EXT here, it's external. When I didn't, I, when I'm not selecting this, it becomes internal. Okay, add it. X1. Okay, let's scroll down and check X1. See here, this is the one. Now save it. Let me save this. Continue. X1. Now come back. Come back. ALP. Now I'm going to create document type. ALP. Select on to LP document. This is standard document. From standard document, I'm going to create copy S. Copy S. A L P. Okay. My number range is X1. Okay. Present. Copy on. Continue. And save it. So now I have created it. Now I'm going to do system testing for this with this ALP. ALP system testing. ALP. Okay. When my vendor is 121, my metal is 1527. Okay. Let me go to come back. Let me go to ME51N. They have asked me to do system testing. I'm going to create a purchase requisition, convert purchase requisition into scheduling agreement. I'm going to give scheduling agreement dates and then go, going to do goods result and emails. Okay, let me enter this material 1572. Material 1527. 1527. Okay, plant is double one double one. Quantity enter quantity 10. Storage location double one double one. Okay, this is a dummy price. Valuation price is dummy price always. In purchase acquisition, whatever the price you are entering is a dummy price. Okay, save it. Let me save this. This is my purchase requisition. Let me take this purchase requisition. PR. PR. I have created PR. Purchase requisition. Okay. Now come back. Let's come back. Go to ME31 TL. Go to create a scheduling agreement. Okay. One to one is my vendor. Reference to purchase acquisition. This is my purchase acquisition. See here, already it's get, just get got adapted. Delete this. Continue. Okay, enter validity end date. Okay, select this adapt plus details. Okay, enter net price. Okay, and save it. Save. See here. Scheduling agreement created under the number. This is the number. 
See, this is the number range they have asked. So that number range has come. See, agreement type is ALE. We have made a mistake here. AL. Okay. Copy with reference. Delete this. AL. Continue. Enter vendor. Reference to purchase requisition. Enter. Select this adapter display. Enter. Net price and save it. Yes. Okay. This is the purchasing requisition number. 1012 300 they have asked and we have created AL. See here? AL. Now let's come back and do scheduling agreement. I'm going to give scheduling agreement dates. ME 38. So it has got adapted. Press enter. Double click onto this line item. Enter. Delivery date. Today's date. Only then you'll be able to do GR. Quantity 10. Press enter. Enter. And save. Yes. Now I'm going to do goods receipt. Based on this number, I'm going to do goods receipt. Let's go to MIGO. MIGO. Enter this. Item OK, post. Item OK and post. Finally, I'm going to do invoice verification in MIR. MIR transaction. Enter the invoice date. Enter. This is my tax. Click on to the tax code. Calculate tax. Enter the scheduling agreement number here. Press enter. This amount 121 double zero. 121 double zero. Okay, enter baseline date and save it. So I have completed. Scheduling agreement document type. I have created scheduling agreement document type, created number range, and did system testing. I have done system testing. Thank you.